everybody. Welcome back to the driveway. Today we've got something a little different. Got ourselves a 2006 Honda Accord EX 3.0. And her starter we just went ahead and pooped the bed the other day. Had to go and beat the bejesus out of it, Thor style, with a hammer to get it to turn over one more time to get it home because I was not looking to try to fix this thing in a parking lot out in the sun. I'd rather do it here in the comfort of my own carport. So, you see here we got the uh, hood holder 9000 sitting there because it's got a death hood and it'll fall on you every chance it gets. That's never any fun. And then we got uh, some good protective coating on the battery here, so that's good. Nothing wrong there. That keeps all the electrons in and the power out. And that's really what you want out of a battery. So that's good. There's your starter down in there, that dark hole. Let me get a bunch of tools and throw at this thing and see if we can't get that little starter out so I can get me another one. Get this over with so I can get the real fun stuff. This actual mechanic can work. Mm, I don't much care for it, I'm going to tell you. I do a lot of it. I don't film it. It's not really that much fun. But uh, I figured I'd at least let you know that occasionally I have to do things that aren't exciting and super fun, like fabricating and welding. Every now and then i got to take in one that actually pays. All right. All right, well, flash forward about mm, 10 minutes, I reckon. And uh, I got that old starter out of there. See right here. She sounds good. So this one may have a good rattle to them. Bunch of mess in there. Overall, it looks pretty good, though. Not, a, not too bad to take out. The bolts are impressively long. What were you thinking, Honda? Mother of God. Look at the amount of threads on these things. All by hand, the one on the bottom, not a lot of fun. Of the 10 minutes it took to pull this out, 8 of it was that bottom bolt. And it was not that I couldn't get to it, it was just unthreading it. So, uh, I guess let me go ahead and get this thing swapped out for the new one, and I'll bring you back when I get the new one. Alright, well that's her all back together. Shiny new starter. Put a little... Uh, beaver snot or whatever's on there on these battery terminals keep them from developing that protective coating again got the uh, skull saver 9000 pulled out so if she falls down now well it'd be all right so let's go ahead and see if she actually does what she's supposed to do which is start I really hope so I don't want to troubleshoot this car anymore more fun things I want to do Ooh, an energetic start at that. Well, that will do. Ooh, inner code. I hope they have it. One more just for good measure. Ooh, energetic. I like it. That is a good sounding starter all right well, looks like this part of this looks like this is done so oh, watch out oh nice self-closing hood can't beat that all right well, all right and with that this little fix is done awesome all right now we got some new mirrors for the car to get rid of the terrible Disgraceful one one it had on it off of like a Mustang or something. These are some four inch dove neck mirrors. I like them. I think they're period correct looking. However, there's some casting flash around this around the uh, holes, so I gotta take that off so that it'll sit flush against the body. stud style. So what we're going to do, since I don't want any trouble, I'm going to take some of this red Loctite. Yes, red. 
because I don't have any blue. And I really don't want these to pull out. So we're going to put a pretty good little bit of red Loctite on there. Run these studs in here. Take Allen wrench. Run the smaller one in, same way. Never coming off again. Ever. <laughs> oh, gone forever. are good and tight. Wipe any of the excess Loctite off. I have no desire for these to fall off from this fitting anyway. The bolt maybe, but not from here. I want those to work their way out with vibration. Alright, great. Now we got those situated. Time to go mark the car and make some Make some holes. All right, now we just gotta mark the mark the car. We'll use some of the existing holes to do that. Yes, I think so. You left it up to me. I did. I usually hang things pretty good. Ninety-nine percent of the time. That's looks good. Now it's marked. Cover at least one of the pre-existing holes and use the other one for a reference. Now let's get some drill bits and cause some trouble. I told you, my next time, Cricket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Make it just a little bit bigger. I got man glitter all over me. Nice. some of this off then. Alright, now it's time for expert mirror installation. Push. Got it. 
Ты что, я? А пусть я его. Я целую его. Glad your arms fit in there. I can get both of them in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got both of them going now. Yes, sir. Nice. Wow. Yeah, it's a good right on along to the little one. Are you giving up on the big one? Bring, we'll come back when we got them installed. <laughs> and here we go. New set of mirrors. Looking awesome. Look at those. They're great. And our smoky emu door panels we did. And new white face gauges off of a 2001 Explorer Sport Track. Plug and play. Lots of aesthetic things happening. Just pretty odd. Look at these mirrors. Uh, tell me they don't look period. They look awesome. I'm loving these. They look fantastic on her. Look at these things. They're awesome. $28 Amazon. For right now, look how awesome. I'm loving it. Alright, we'll bring you back.